Hey campers, this weekend we're over at Sandy McNabb camping. It's raining. A little bit wet out, but this is doable. Welcome back to Alberta Camping. It's May long weekend, 2019, and we're out at Sandy McNabb. This is our go-to campground. Uh, it's close to Calgary. It's and close to where we park our trailer. And uh, Turner Valley is really close. So if you forget something, it's not far. Um, it has everything here, everything you would want. It's rustic, yet uh, there's still lots of neighbors. It's a big campground too. There's lots of sites here. I think there's 138 sites. Yeah. Um, but what I love is that it has power. When we, we do a lot of dry camping, but it does have the power. It has a, a water dump station, which is nice to have it right there. You can just dump and as you leave. There's also, um, what do they call it? The comfort station? Yep. It's uh, the bathroom. There's heated bathrooms and showers. There's also two group camps here, and there's an equestrian camp here. So there's lots and lots of things. There's also a really big playground too yeah. for the kids, but it still feels rustic um, and the sites are really nice. So you're not on top of each other. Like if you can see in behind us, there's nobody. It, they're quite a ways away. Um, we do have our favorite sites, mind you. Some of them are close together, but sometimes you want to be close to people or with your neighbors or friends. We also like the pull-throughs are a good size, so we can actually share a pull-through with a friend or a family. We can get two trailers on them. But most of the sites back off onto wilderness, and there's trails here. Um, they did have a day use area, but that has been a little bit of an issue. It's closed again. It was open, what? For a few weeks, maybe? A few weeks. Um, Last year, I think. So they had real issues when the 2013 flood went through. And then the road down, they did have it barricaded up, or it had rocks, um, had a rock slide, and they did have it netted up, and then it let loose again. So the day use area is actually really nice, but there is, if you go down the hill where group, uh, group use A is, there is a place to park and then you can hike down to the river. It's really beautiful down there. But there's a ton of trails around here. Um, and if you go further past Sandy McNabb, and that road actually is closed till May long, but now it's open. There's a ton of trails and interesting things to see. A beautiful drive all the way up to Blue Rock. So would I recommend Sandy McNabb in Kananaskis? Yes, big thumb, thumbs up for Sandy McNabb. We really like it here. They come around with firewood. Um, I guess the only thing is the cell service. There's no cell service, but if you have a booster, it's not far, 10 minutes, not even. No cell service is a plus. Yeah, it's usually, we really like not having the cell service because then you're, you're totally unplugged and you get to spend time together. And especially if you're bringing children, they actually find things to do and they actually talk to each other. It's yep. great and play games. and. Yeah, we're never, we never run out of things to do. But Sandy McNabb is a, is a great campground. Normally it's pretty quiet. Um, we've only had one instance in the whole time we've been coming out here that we had noisy neighbors, but uh, that was taken care of. It is first come, first serve, so mm. there's no reservations at these sites. So that's even better if you're not people like who don't like reserving or don't know three months from now where you want to be. Yeah. It's a little better. Because we tend to never know three months out where we want to camp. The only drawback to first come first serves though is if it if it's forecasting to be a beautiful weekend, uh, people tend to come out sooner and reserve their sites. So you end up paying a little bit more because you're reserving a site you're not actually on. Yeah. So you're bringing your trailer out like on a Wednesday night instead of coming out on Friday. But uh, it's worth it if you're getting, if you know what you're getting, definitely. It's 33 bucks a night. Uh, if you got a second unit on your site, it's 31 for the second. Mm -hmm. Firewood's $10 a bundle. Yeah. And they come around with their trucks and deliver wood. Can be a little expensive for firewood. 
So I think this weekend we're going to be spending about a hundred bucks. Yeah. On fire. Well, it's because it's so cold and we were having fires during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Normally it wouldn't be that much, but and if you come out with friends and you're splitting it. Yep. Uh, Sandy McNabb is uh, a wonderful place. It's always well maintained. The bathrooms are clean. There's lots of bathrooms. Uh, there's fresh. There's drinkable water. And sometimes you see wildlife. Not that often right in the campground, but sometimes. Sometimes. Yep. Lots of squirrels. Lots of squirrels and there's some deer coming through and the odd bear. We haven't seen a bear, but there's always bear signs up. So it's just because we're in Kananaskis country. You're going to get that in any Kananaskis campground. Yep. So, so you just prepare for it ahead of time. Exactly. Yep. So camp at Sandy McNabb or don't. Because then yeah, we don't really want to have we, too many people here. No, because we want to make sure we have a site. Yeah. So don't come here. Come here. <laughs> don't. Yes. <laughs> no, we love it out here. It's a great place to get uh, camp, and it's close to the city. So thanks for watching Alberta Camping. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. See ya. Happy camping. <laughs>